Hey, there's Testudo. What a guy. What do you think, guys? Testudo the turtle? Yeah. <laughs> and a big fan of DJ Durkins as well. We would imagine he would be. The new Maryland head coach has already made quite an impact on the campus in College Park, including on the three young men who are joining me right now. Great to have a few of the Terrapins with us. Will likely Jermaine Carter, Michael Dunn. Guys, let's talk about your new head coach first. We had a chance to visit with him. He is fiery, I would say. Uh, give us a sense of what it's like early on, early returns, Will, playing for DJ Durkin. It's crazy. Uh, he's a very high energy guy, uh, very compassionate about what he do. You just got to love him. I agree. I would say he's a very he has he has a lot of energy no matter what time it is. Um, we practiced it early in the morning. I was just going to ask you if that includes very early in the very morning. Very early in the morning. No matter what time it is, he has a lot of energy and he's passionate. Like you say, he's passionate about what he does and he loves the game of football. I mean, there's like one word that perfectly describes him, and it's intense. It's the most intense guy I've ever met in my entire life, and it's exactly what we need for this program right now. Why is it what you need? Because I kind of felt that uh, over the past four years, you know, there was definitely something missing. And since Coach Durkin and Coach Court, our strength coach, came into the program, the, intense, the intensity, the energy, you know, it's been phenomenal. And, you know, it, I realize that it's probably the missing piece that's going to keep us from winning the Big Ten Championship. Would you agree? Is this what the doctor ordered here, Jermaine? Uh, I, I will agree. It, it, like he said, Coach Court is... We spend the most time with the strength coach and Coach Court, um, and he's he's definitely like the the headmaster of, of of being having the energy and being the high energy guy. And he makes sure uh, that the guys on the team it rubs off on us. So that, like you said, they very very got a lot of energy. Give me a specific example of energetic DJ Durkin. I mean, what what has he done where you said kind of what was this guy for real? I mean, I can I can recall. Um, so waking up for breakfast like five in the morning, uh, he's got music blasting everywhere. And you're like, what is this guy doing? It's, it's 5.30 in the morning. Like, I just want to eat and prepare myself. But uh, he's that type of guy. Uh, you got everybody just running around, jumping around, as excited, just ready. And you just got to be ready. You got to be ready for that day. Well, let's take it on the field a little bit with this year's team. And, Will, I want to start with you. You're so dangerous with the ball in your hands. We know what a great return guy you could be. Uh, you know, someone who certainly two years ago was one among the, the top pass interceptors uh, in the league. Might we see some other ways to kind of work the ball into your hands this year as well? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find that out. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out when the season starts. But until then, just getting, keep getting better, becoming an overall player that I know I can be, and just helping my teammates out. Well, let's ask your teammates. Would that be something that might help? Uh, definitely. Whenever he's on the field, he, he, it's like, what is he going to do? Like, 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 he makes plays no matter where he's at, offensively, defensively, on special teams. So whenever he gets the ball in his hands, no matter how, you know something, something good is going to happen. Michael, I'm interested in asking you about your position group. I think the offensive line is maybe the most intriguing group on mm -hmm. this team. You're the exception. You're yeah. the guy who's been around and has a lot of experience. It is by and large an inexperienced group, but really highly recruited guys. I yeah. Mean. So, I mean, last year we had three senior offensive linemen, and obviously all three of them are gone. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a question whether we'd be able to replace them. And we have a bunch of young guys, a bunch of high recruits who have limited experience, but, you know, from what I've seen from him in spring ball and all summer long, it's safe to say that we're going to be as good, if not better, this year across the line. You know, I've been so impressed with all these guys. Um, you know, we have another senior in Mari Shelton uh, playing guard. Uh, Damian Prince has had a great summer. You know, I, his body has just transformed into a actual good offensive tackle. <laughs> and uh, Brandon Moore, our center, you know, he's always doing the right thing. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just always impressed with what he does. And, you know, we got so many other guys, uh, Mike Minner, Jawan jo Delaney, uh, Doreen Gray, you know, just all these guys who are going to make huge impacts for us th this year as a team. 
You are the lone offensive representative here until Will starts lining up. <laughs> uh, but until then, this question goes to you. Okay. And I know it's a little I'll odd. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ask this to an offensive lineman. But how do you guys cut down on the turnovers? Um, I mean, one thing that Coach Bell has really stressed upon our turnovers. And, uh, you know, I see him all spring ball long every single day. The uh, receivers, the quarterbacks, the running backs, all the guys who actually get to touch the ball, um, they do ball protection drills. You know, Coach Bell really uh, emphasizes, you know, not fumbling. And, you know, our quarterbacks and our receivers, they've been doing an incredible job getting out every single day during the summer, throwing the ball around. And, you know, whoever's going to be our quarterback this year, you know, we got some guys who have been really improving and uh you know that should be a really interesting competition uh for this training camp but you know i'm, I'm expecting good things from all those guys i want to turn the attention to the defense and jermaine and will both of you guys how would you describe the defensive style that we're going to see for this new staff no, we're not going to let's sit back and wait for anybody we're going to be the aggressors and we're going to attack the whole game no matter no matter what quarter it is yeah, like Jermaine said, we're going to be very aggressive. Uh, you know, those guys in the front are going to hold it down. They're going to do their thing. And on the back end, we got to just make plays and be those guys that don't allow no passes. Uh, you got guys like Alvin Hill, who has a, a minutes, tremendous job. Guys like uh, Savage, uh, Denzel Conyers, he's also a playmaker. So we got a few weapons back there to make things happen. But Jermaine, you made some things happen last year, 14 tackles for loss. How does this defensive style complement the way that you like to play? Well, like I said, we're uh, going to be we're gonna play aggressive, and that's, that's my style. I want to be aggressive. I want to go out there and make some noise. I want to go out there and be a hitter. So I, I feel like I feel perfect in this defense. How involved has Coach Durkin been? He's a defensive guy by trade, yet he's also the head coach. How much time does he spend working with you guys as a group as a defense um every day uh guys like that he's a he's a defensive football head so it's hard to get that that type of guy out of the defensive room um he's there every step of the way uh making sure everything is okay uh putting his input in and we've seen what he can do and we've seen the, pro, the products he have so it's, it's it's not hard not to listen to him so everybody's buying in and like i said before the energy is there and everybody just ready you guys talked about how fire he, fiery he is. What about as an X and O guy? What are, what are the things that kind of you've learned from from DJ on the grease board? Do you? Well, I'll, start, I'll start by saying I, I learned um, I've learned so much in the short time that he's been here. Him and um, my linebacker coach Matt Barnes, who's been there every step of the way with Coach Dirk, and I've learned that I wasn't a, the best football player. I wasn't as good as I thought I was. I've gotten so much better over the one spring that I've been with them, and I'm just hoping to transition in the fall and being an even better player when the season comes. What have you learned from your cousins, the basketball players? Oh, no. Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> I don't talk to I don't learn. I ain't learned nothing. <laughs> You're not willing to give them any credit? Nah. All right. Well, guys, best of luck this year. Looking forward to uh, watching you guys make some improvements, and I know you have high aspirations for this group, and we look forward to seeing you reach them. Thank Thanks you. a lot Thank for your you. time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.